Alrighty, um, returned to finish off my Vulpix video. Uh, my son just wanted to say hi. It was pretty cute. <laughs> um, now, there's not much uh, left that's super awesome in my Vulpix collection, so I'm probably going to post this the same day that I post the first video. Um, some of these you've already seen. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start off with this noisy plastic bracelet. This is just a um, Kanto version the crystal season bracelet and I've already shown this kids figure the clear version and I've already shown this kids figure original color version um, you've already seen this I think this was a UFO plush and I mean I guess you've already seen these if you've watched my previous full pics videos and then you've seen my Chiku Chiku sewing Vulpix. This is um, a Ditto Vulpix. It came with a, it's a Gachapon figure. It came with a Ditto that was like mimicking the Vulpix Ditto. Uh, I moved, a, I have a Ditto collection too, so I put all the Dittos together. But uh, this, I, I haven't been collecting a lot of these Ditto items that are like transformed into the Pokemon because I, I'm just I like the Pokemon to look like themselves and I like Ditto to look like itself and if you've ever watched the anime there's only one Ditto that can't change his face so it's a little weird that they're like running with that idea uh, I don't think it's very canon for them to have all the same Ditto face but that's just me nitpicking this is a metal figure. I don't know how you buy these in Japan. I don't know if they're just like in a store or what, but there's tons and tons of these little metal figures. It's kind of heavy. It's made out of metal. It's solid. Um, they all come in all kinds of different colors. I don't know what color this is. Like They have like five grays, and there's like gunpowder or gunmetal or something like that, and granite and silver. Uh, so I kind of lost track. <laughs> Um, but it's metal. It's full picks. That's all I know. I got in a collection of other metals. Here's uh this is a linking uh, keychain. So it hangs like this. Super adorable. I love his little paws up, his tail's wrapped around, and then there's a, like a little hook at the bottom here for you to link up another one with this little top part. And so you can have like a line of little keychains. Pokemon hanging from your keychains. And let's see. Let's go with our plushies because they're stacked up really high. Um, oh yeah, you've already seen these in my other video. This one, I do not have... I try to buy a Lolan and Kanto version of all the Vulpix stuff, but this one I only got the Kanto version because I couldn't find the Alolan version cheap enough, but it's a UFO... And super cute. I like the size of this. I still need to get to the, can or the Alolan version eventually before it goes crazy up in price if it hasn't already. That's one of the things about Vulpix. Collecting Vulpix is expensive because it's so popular. Everybody wants it, so resellers really jack the price up sometimes. Speaking of jacking up prices, this is the standard version. And this was going for quite a bit of money for a while. I got the Japanese version. It's just the standard plush. I don't know why it was so expensive for a while. Uh, I saw the KFC. This is just a tag that came with a shirt that I purchased. I kept it because it's really cute. That's the art that was on the shirt. But uh, just kept the tag as well for whatever reason. It's called Canto Blossoms if you want to look it up and get the shirt. Uh, I love that it has Eevee and Vulpix on it because they're two of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, the Pikachu, I'm not normally a huge fan of Pikachu. I like Pikachu, he's cute and everything, but he's, he, I get a little sick of him sometimes. But I love that his cheeks are pink here. That just adds a little bit of cuteness to it. Here comes my son again. Hi, Elijah. I'm going to try to keep making a video if he's not too noisy. So this is um, 
an internationally released McDonald's toy, Vulpix. I think it's from the UK or somewhere overseas over there. I'm in America, United States, so we didn't get this here. It's, its head goes up and down. And then, oh, you saw that. That's the egg plush. Elijah, please don't throw my plushies on the floor. That's not nice. This one, um, Bondi Friends. I think you saw that in another video, too. And this is the Kanto version of the Crystal Season. It's pretty much exactly the same, but it's got the, uh, the fall art. And it's got a red, orange gem, and a Kanto Woolpix, uh charm. That's it. That's what it's called. Fuzzy tail. Really cute. Really soft. Don't have the large version of that one either. Oh my gosh, my son is like climbing on everything. And then, oh yeah, here we have the canvas. Woolpix canvas plush. I don't know why, but these were really popular for some reason. They're kind of like a pastel, kind of a little bit. Really cute. Is that cute? Pikachu! Oh, did you see a cute Pikachu? Did you want to hold it? Yeah. Here, let me put this over on the bed. Bring it to the bed so you can look at it. No. Okay. And then this one, I think it's called like Kokorin or something like that. It's a really weird it's sausage like shape. Pikachu. That's right. Hopefully he's not being too loud. He's excited about my Pokemon room. They had a Vulpix Growlithe and Vulpix that came out came out around the same time. I got all of them. Let's show you my nine tails. Oops, dropped one. I'm not super in love with these. Look at the tail is especially weird on nine tails. And then. Here's the Tommy nine tails. Elijah, be careful, buddy. Mm, it's like a it looks like a more masculine nine tails. And then here's a more feminine nine tails. This one's the Pokemon Center version, standard. And then here's a nine tails kids figure, finger puppet. And really similar pose. Told me figure. I think this is official. I'm not 100% sure. You want to go home the Tetris song? Okay, I'll see you later. And then the last item I have is this Kanto version of the snow globe. But this one doesn't have snow. It's got leaves and glitter for the fall theme. Look how happy that Vulpix is. So cute. And then same as this one, or same as the last one, it's got nine tails on the base. Leaves instead of snowflakes. There we go. And then the box for that one I've got over here too. Here's the art for it. Super pretty art. I love that so much. No glitter in this preview again. Alright, and I think that's pretty much everything. I've gone over all of my items that I haven't already shown you. Hopefully... Um, I can get this all organized and combine my collection with the one that I purchased down here and have a nice, neat little Vulpix corner, I guess. The only other item I don't have shown here is my Alolan Vulpix that came with my Lily figure, but I put that in my Lily vi figure video, so. Uh... Yep, I don't see anything else around here that's Vulpix, so that's going to be it. That's my entire Vulpix collection spread out into four videos. Probably the highlights, I would say. Oh, I didn't show you this one, did I? 
This is the gallery figure from the Pokemon Center website. And that would be the final one. Alright, thanks for watching.